Okay. So. <coughs> you really can't change anything on both of these cameras. That's why I don't like them. But. I got to match them as much as possible. So it's F4. Uh, there's only three settings on uh, the Mark II, okay? On uh, the EV10, you can have more settings, but let me tell you. Uh, oh, I know why it's warm, it's the outside air. I gotta put on the cold air. So there's no recording time limit on both of these. Turn that down, turn this down so they don't see the reflection. Now these. It's looking good. I gotta match them the best as possible. Now get nice and cool in here. And hopefully I'm missing the hood, which I think I am. Okay, we'll keep it at this setting. So we're at Evans Road, look at the uh, lights. Now you can't see it anymore. But you'll see this one. So look at the lights. It's too much glare. Not too bad. Is that 2.5? Now it's green. So we're going to go down the dark area. So I really can't do anything with the Mark II. And I think on the Mark. I mean on the 10, yeah, I, I think I got it in a program priority now. Let me see. It tells me. Not real short though. Okay, where is it? What mode is it in? And tell me. Come on, 10. Oh, it's in manual focus. Okay. ISO 1000, F2.5, one third of shutter speed. So it is in manual focus on the uh, 10. All right, cool. And it's 2.5, they're both 130 at a shutter speed. 3200 ISO on the 2, 1000 on the 10. Okay, so it is in manual focus. So the shutter speed is automatic. It's more like an aperture mode, okay? So it's controlling the uh, manual is controlling the ISO and the uh, shutter speed. The aperture stays at 2.5. Okay. It's looking good though. So we're going to come to these lights. Just a quick test. I'm going to go back home. No long drives. So it's interesting. I still think there's a little bit too much. Uh, yeah, move that back a little bit. Yeah, 
but they're they look the same folks that's Sony for you I can control it pretty much on uh, see how did I do it yeah I had the ISO lower and Sony likes the ISO higher isn't that interesting Okay, so how does this sign look? Look at the sign. Is it in focus? stoplight and I'll make a right, go to cul-de-sac and then I'll go home. Both cameras have no recording time limits. Let me stress that. No recording time limits. I'm a parkway again. All right, going down the cul-de-sac. So hit the lamp posts and the lights. Is it too much flaring? Anyhow, it's looking awesome anyway. Both cameras. They're doing a good job. And 50 millimeters is uh, kind of a close up. Uh, so they say it's like 18 to 50. I'm thinking it's like. Uh, it might be a little bit different. Cut out the sunflowers. Oh, too bad. But we get the cul-de-sac. You can't see the lamppost. Not at 15 millimeters. Okay. But it's looking awesome. I'm happy with the testing. I want to test out the sound because uh, on the 10 you can have it no I'm sorry on the um, 2 you can have it backwards so the sound will come pointing to the rear you can have it surround you can have it in the front you know, all around you can have it in front or you can record it just in the back. And that's what I'm doing, recording from the back. And I'm hoping you don't hear the air conditioning too much. And I'm hoping also, yeah, it's not touching the, uh, the glass. So, the vibration I'm hearing is probably on the lens cover to keep the uh, tin up so I miss the hood. But look at the lights. Is it too much? I think it's controlling pretty much on the uh, tent, or on the uh, two, I mean. I think it's doing an excellent job. Ooh, did you see? Too much shaking. Around, point that up like that, point that like this. Yeah, there we go. 
All right, so they're viewing the same thing, okay? May not be straight, but... So we're going to look at lights, car lights, compare them as a truck. Man, it's bright lights. So I think I can control better on the Nikon ZFC. But I do see a lot of stuttering. So we have to work on the, uh, the speed. down there so it's still Thursday night at 1130 and I'm going to go to the cul-de-sac Take a look, see how if you can view the houses in the dark. Interesting. So the 10 is in manual mode. Alright. And the uh, 2 is in uh, intelligent auto. We can start seeing some lights. I don't see any focused breathing going on, so that's a good thing. So I can see the purple light, and I can see the two other headlights, or I mean lamp posts. See the lights on the tree, I hope. Maybe not, already passed. They're matching up pretty good. They're controlling the flaring. I'm okay with this test. But they're both working. Uh, it's being charged by the USB-C. You know, with the uh, two and then on the uh, 10, it's a dummy battery, okay? And in a moment, I'll tell you how long I've been recording. Just gotta make sure I don't hit the wall. Okay, park. Air conditioning off. Look at the recordings. So, we recorded about 13 minutes, 50 seconds. All right. Yep. All right. Well, thank you for watching. Now, see, this 50 millimeter, okay, I'm, you're looking at the plugs. Yeah, it was like this, just to match the other one. Um, it's clear on the 2. On the 10, it's, uh, wow. Oh, it's manual focus. Oh, I got it. Can't believe Let's go to function. How is it on manual focus? I can't believe that. All right, let me go to 
menu. Alright. I'll end the recording. Thank you for watching. Um, if you like this type of content, please give me a like, subscribe. Um, any questions, just write in the comments down below. Uh, remember to stay safe, keep smiling, and until next time, goodbye.